What's up guys, the Penfez here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday and we have got the Beats Holland. EA Sports FC24 is excited to collaborate with Beats to bring you a unique Beats Holland item. If you played EA Sports FC24 before November the 1st, 2023, you've been granted an untradeable Beats Holland item to your account. Keep an eye out for the associated milestone objective and use your new Beats item Holland item to earn rewards. That's actually a pretty sick card still though, isn't it? We just go and get that. Is it there? Did, or did it get put into the club or does it get put into the... Oh, it's a pack. Oh, it's a pack. It's delightful. Pack just looks delightful. Ooh, Sandro Tonali. Oh my... What a pack that was. Two walkouts in that. Let's open this. This is what I'm about. Beats Harlem pack. Go on. Special. Oh, Harlem? Doesn't look like a special card, does it? That is a crazy card design. Fair play, EA. I really quite like that card design. It's very, very nice. Three star, three star. Great pace, good shooting, good physicals, good dribbling, good play styles. That's actually a mad card, man. That's a mad card. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. All right, so let's see if it's already there, the objectives that are tied to that. Man, you're going to be livid if uh, there's some fun objectives and you're like, well, I just didn't play the game in time. FC Pro Season 3 starts tomorrow, doesn't it? Ultimate Dynasty Daily Objective. Maldini, Nino, Bundesliga Generation, Team Team Pursuit. Oh, Champ... Oh, no, that was already there. I think, I think that's already... All of, all of it that was already there. Nothing there. Beats Holland Goal Rush. Scoring 7... Are up to 15. Oh, my day is 50. An 85 by 2, an 85 plus, an 81 by 11, an 84 by 2, an 84 plus, a 1 of 3, 83 plus, a lone Zanetti for seven games, an 83 by 3, a lone Soboslai for seven games. Why? A premium gold players pack, a lone Katoto for seven games, a rare gold pack, a lone Morientes for seven games, an 80 by 5, a lone Di Maria for seven games. And a 100k pack. That's, I mean, listen. I'm about that. I'm all about that. Score at least one goal with Holland in any ultimate team game mode. Which means you can just farm it as well. You can just farm it. You just go and match up against the power and do like 10 at a time every like few hours. Easy game, easy life, baby. Thanks EA for that. Thanks EA for that. Do we have a new evolution? No, we do not. Do we have a... Well, I'm expecting an Icon SBC today. That's what we... Uh, yeah, there it was. I did see it. So we've got Hernandez, Griezmann, Romero, Lee Kangin. Yeah, Mariko Bamiang. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any new players today. Although yesterday they did that and it, they put it right at the back end. No, there actually isn't any new players today. Wow, fair enough. So it's just the 87 plus base or Centurion icon. The 83 by 10 again. Love that. Big fan of that. The Advent Calendar upgrade again. Any challenges? The Daily Challenge again for a Mega Pack. That's a really, really cool challenge, that one. Otherwise, nothing. And then icons. Ooh. The ultimate dynasty icon Zidane. Finesse shot Traveller. Incisive pass. Long ball pass. Flair first touch plus. Technical. Five star, five star. Nice physicals. Really nice dribbling. Nice passing. Good pace and shooting. 13 segments is quite a lot for this card. But... I don't mind it. I can't even lie. I don't mind it. It's an 89, 388s, 387s, 
an 86, two 85s, an 83, a bronze and a silver. It's like, like, listen, there has already been this year, this game cycle, so many elite level SBCs, Salah, Son, Bappe, among others, and now Zidane, right? What you're like, all the people are saying, man, this Zidane is too expensive. I hate it, it's too expensive. I promise you, within two days' time, when all you face in Champs and Rivals is 90 Sue Zidane and Player of the Month and Bappe, you are going to hate the fact that this Zidane was even this cheap. He's high medium work rates as well, which is great, and mostly lengthy. This is uh, like, and Dalglish, exactly, right? This is a really, 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 really good card. And like, you know how good Zidane is in game as well. He's got that body type, man. He's got the five star, five star, he's six foot one. Like, like, I mean, it is just, it is just, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, I mean, it's a good card. It's a good card. I don't think you can fault it, to be fair. Um, let's go and have a look at the mini release and at the, uh, the thoughts from people on this Zidane. New players. So we've got this Erling Haaland. Rivaldinho. Tell me that's not actually Rivaldo's like son or something. Taram, Zidane, 90 Maldini, 92 Zidane. Erling Haaland compared to his 91. He's got five more pace. Four more dribbling. Four less defending, but who cares? Four more stamina even if a little less physical. Loads less shooting, but still great, and one less passing. This, this is actually a really good card. It is Rivaldo's son, and he called himself Rivaldinho. Crazy. You could potentially put a finisher on this one. I mean, it's not like regular Haaland's expensive or anything anymore, but still, this is a fun card. This is a pretty unique card. Or it's a bit of fodder for Zidane. Worst case scenario, isn't it? Um, not bad at all. Rivaldinho, 85-rated striker from... Wait, where the hell is he playing? Constanta. A Spanish... What? Super League. Oh, interesting. Barul Constanta. Um, he's got three-star, four-star. Power shot, power header, and aerial. He's six foot one. Well, pretty cool dribbling, to be fair. Well, it's not a bad card at all. I'd, I'd give him an engine. Nice jump in, nice strength, good physicals otherwise. With an engine, good dribbling stats other than reactions. Uh, reasonable passing, good shooting, and great pace. I mean, that's that's a fun card. It'll be dirt cheap, I, I imagine. But that's a fun card. We've then got Schlotterbeck, uh, Schlotterbeck's brother. They've given him a, tw a 27 pace upgrade. That's mad. Two star, three star. Relentless plus, very nice. With a shadow, great pace, reasonable dribbling, good defending, reasonable passing. Good, like, reasonable play styles, like... Not bad. He'll be dirt cheap as well, I reckon. We've got Nico Williams. Um, obviously gets the perfect link with Inyaki Williams as well. A little poor on reactions and uh, composure. Four-star, five-star on Nico Williams. Player plus rapid, quick step and Traveller. Good stamp, good jumping. Reasonable dribbling, reasonable passing, good pace. I mean, what do we do here? Like a dead eye or something? Maybe, maybe a Hawk at striker. Maybe a finisher. Depends where you play him, I think. I probably would play him as a finisher. I'd probably play him as a striker. Maybe an engine. Great pace, great dribbling, good passing, reasonable shooting. Uh, reasonable shooting. We've got Kefren Taram. Remember his card last year? It was good, wasn't it? This is a fun one. Shadow chem style on him. Good pace, good defending. Well rounded stats. Four star, three star, six foot four with press proven plus. Thank you very much. Lucas Zidane's a goalkeeper. No one cares. Uh, Paolo Maldini's kind of baby card, I guess. Got more pace, more shooting, more passing, and more dribbling than his 92 rated cards. But five less defending and five less physical. That's a trade I'd accept. Four star week for six foot one. Same play style still. Pop a shadow on this bad man. Top pace, top defending, good passing, great dribbling. It's going to be interesting to see what he costs for a card, for a, for a price. And then Zidane compared to the other Zidane. 
has got two more pace, three more physical, and then four less passing, shooting, dribbling, and three less defending. I think this Zidane SBC is fantastic. How much was this Zidane on the market? Two and a half million. I think this Zidane SBC is really good. Um, you could put kind of whatever chem style you want on. I probably would go with an engine, try and boost that agility and balance up. I mean, that, that's going to be a crazy card. That's going to be a crazy card. It's going to be really, really good. Um, I don't mind it at all. Not in the slightest. The other thing we're going to do here, let me get my control pad back, go and build that icon pack and see what that, uh, that is coming in at. What, is it, what does the community say about these? Upvoted on Zidane and upvoted on the 87 Plus. Does that mean that 87 Plus then is uh, quite cheap? Two segments. And it, oh, it's the same as the other icon, just with an extra inform in the 87 rated squad. That's not bad. Yeah, high medium as well is, is big. And it'll be live during team of the year. Yeah, precisely. So, so some good stuff about that, Zidane. I think it's a quality card. I think anyone that thinks it's not a quality card, idiot. No, I'm joking. If you don't like it, don't do it. Don't do it. Just... In fact, <laughs> I'd say he's well expensive and probably not worth doing. Whoever you've got in your team already, they're the people that you should keep. You should not, you should not get this Zinedine Zinedan into your, uh, into your team. Definitely not. Not worth. Hashtag not worth. All right? Uh, right. There's my 87 rated squad. Bomb. Rare mixed players pack from that one as well. Imagine someone being doing the same as base icon yesterday, and today we get the same requirements. Better pack. Well, it's not the same requirements. You need a uh, oh no nah, no. Nah. You need a um in four mini eighty seven rated. Whereas yesterday you did not need an inform in the eighty seven rated. So it's slightly different. And let's get our eighty six rated squad in. I've got enough 86s, that's the question. Oh, yeah. Ronaldo in form. How long until team of the year? Probably like five weeks or six weeks. Last year, I think it was around the 20th of January, wasn't it? Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friends. You are gone. <laughs> Give me that icon, baby. Have a Modric to recover. Do you know what? I've got three really high rated cards on the Mbappe RTG to recover. And um, I, I don't know what my login details are. What have we got? Breakthrough Essentials Pack. Not interested. 30 gold rated items. 80 or higher. Not interested in. What's the little check mark on this one for? One guaranteed Ultimate Dynasties player item. 35 rare gold with one guaranteed to be 87 or higher. Two guaranteed dynasty players. Hold on, hold on. Let me open the icon pack first. Because the icon's almost definitely not going to be a duplicate, and that pack's going to be full of duplicates. What do we get in the icon pack? Brilliant. Pavel Nedved. I said brilliant sarcastically. That's not brilliant. Back, that's terrible. Um, and then, the Son doing well. Man, I didn't put him in any lineups today. And then this one. Now, we know we're getting a guaranteed dynasty. Oh, it's going to be Rivaldinho. Go on, Rivaldinho. On the double walkout for me. I've just packed Rivaldo and Zidane, guys. What more do you want out of a game of FIFA? That's an atrocious pack, to be fair, though, isn't it? Basically the same, yeah. yeah basically the same. Oh, my God. Zidane and Rivaldo in the same pack. Guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.